That's right, another juicy drama video. And this time, it's on the Code Geass video. Hey, did you know that we started... Well, we started Code Geass on Twitch and Patreon. If you want to watch live with us, show up on Twitch slash Kaka TV. Or show up on Patreon, you can watch that with us. But there is a comment here from Mr. H.M. Strausser. And the type of haters that I have is just, like, mind-boggling. And I want to share with you guys this, right? <laughs> Damn it with this guy when I first saw this youtuber. I hated him when he bashed the villagers in the cautious hero reactions He was always so paranoid like bro chill You're not supposed to be more cautious than the cautious hero himself So a little context cautious hero is an anime where the main character is super cautious And I thought that it'd be extremely funny if I were to be more schizo paranoid than him And that's the entire point of the humor but bro is getting heated up saying he hates me because I shit on the villagers thinking all oh, these random NPCs I think that could be the demon lord. Some people are just so special. You would actually get mad doing that. But wait, it gets even better. Then the random YouTube algorithm brought me to his sword art online reactions. No, it didn't. It's not random YouTube algorithm. The YouTube algorithm simply pushes videos to you based on your watch history and it's decided that the shit that you watch aligns with the shit that my audience watch. And the fact that you clicked onto the video means that you intentionally engage with my video rather than clicking here and then saying, you know, don't recommend channel, not interested. This is all you have to do. You don't like a channel? Just click this and stop engaging. And got curious enough to see if he was also going to bash an easy to hate favorite. His comments were okay, passable, I guess, dot, dot. Whoa! My commentary was passable? Thank goodness Mr. H.M. Strausser said that my commentary was passable. Oh, thank goodness I have the acknowledgement and the validity from this guy. Whew. I was afraid what he was going to think. Then while searching for viral hit reactions, I found this guy again and out of the bunch of reactors I thought he was the most interesting dot 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 his comments were dot 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 Admittedly very interesting from a youtuber's perspective. I liked his reaction <laughs> Bro is confused. He can't stop watching my reactions, but he hates me, but he can't stop watching me So he's like what's going on? He was mean to those villager and cautious hero, but I just keep watching his reactions. I'm confused. And now I'm here within the first seats of the video, meaning he was literally like one of the first people to comment whenever this Code Geass video went on. He's a super fan now. <laughs> Uploaded one hour ago, watching him react to Code freaking Geass. All right, Kaka. I'll be waiting for your reactions to this anime and see if I can hate with good reason, angry cat emoji. How insane is it that I have freaks like this that hates me but continues to engage with my content even though I tell him to unsub and fuck off. He's literally watching every video just so if he can hate me with good reason. This is the type of losers. This is the type of monkeys that I have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. They themselves don't understand why they hate me. They're too stupid to understand what humor is. And they keep consuming my content. And we're at this point where this guy wants to keep watching just so he can find a moment where he can hate me with good cause. Imagine that. You have one shot at life. You have finite time. Everyone is busy as fuck and you should do what you should do to make your dreams come true. But here he is, spending his time hate watching me, trying to find a reason to hate me because he is such a fan of my content. Absolute pathetic loser behavior. This is what's happening. Like, and I'm actually suffering from success. Like what, like my reactions, again, I don't like to glaze myself up and say, oh my God, my reactions are better than every other reactor out there. No, that is not something for me to decide. That's something for the market to decide. I put a product out there and you guys decide whether or not it has value and that's how it gets judged. And you got losers like him, bro, proving that my content so goaded that even the haters will continue watching because they're so fucking addicted. Even if I tell them, stop fucking watching. I'm literally suffering 
from success. And just know, every time you monkeys do shit like this, I can farm a video, make some money off of you, the views go up, people get more engaged, they get to see the raw, unfiltered side of me going off on these fucking idiots. And before, you know, the, the, the Yoshino kid, right? Listen, I understand. I understand that 16 year old kids, you know, behaving like that, it makes sense. But look at yourself. You're a goddamn grown ass man, HM Strausser. You're a grown ass man doing this loser behavior online. Go touch some grass, motherfucker. Holy shit, what are you doing with your life? At the very least, I'm gonna make content out of you and make some fucking dollars. Cause goddamn, this is the shit I have to deal with on a daily basis. And the beautiful thing about content creation is that this is kind of like a client serving role. When I was working at McDonald's in high school, bro, how many shitty fucking people come in here making your day or miserable fucking hell? You ever work retail? You ever work a job where you have to fucking work with other people just being nasty to you? You can't tell them to fuck off cause you're gonna lose your job. Well, guess what, motherfucker? This is my channel. And I do content creation on YouTube, and I can tell you to go fuck yourself, H.M. Strausser. And you know what the best part is? You know what the best part is about this video, right? It's the fact that he is so stupid to think, all right, Kaka, I'll be waiting for your reactions of this anime and see if I can hate with good reason. Let's listen to what I say in the first 10 seconds of this video. Patreon exclusive series. We are now starting code yes because that's what y'all... What does Patreon exclusive mean? Voted for. And as usual, Patreon exclusive means it only exists on Patreon. And so it's not fucking coming, you retard. You didn't even listen to the fucking video. This is how stupid you are. But God bless your soul for writing dumb shit like this so I can farm a fucking view. But guys, Code Geass is on Patreon and Twitch. Come watch with us live and have some fun time.